take a look at the notation on the screen do you understand it if so good for you if not then stick around because I will explain them in this video hopefully you know how to read combo cards and can execute cool combos by the end of the video this notation is a standard way people tell each other's combos in fighting games but even though I said standard not every fighting game uses it the same Okay, before I can tell you how to understand the notation, I'm gonna explain to you why we need to use this confusing notation in the first place, and it is for simplicity. Yeah, it's kinda counterintuitive, right? Why are we using weird numbers and notations to simplify things? Well, it will make more sense if you're looking at the character's move list. There are moves with quarter circle moves and half circle moves, right? While those moves might be easy to explain, like this one, this move is usually for short you can like movement or dragon punch if you don't speak Japanese. I have no idea how to read the dragon punch movement before I learned to read this notation. I mean, this motion is hard to describe, so when I was learning fighting games, I just call it short you can input because it's the move for sure you can and there are other confusing motions in fighting games. Because of that, the fighting game community has decided to standardize the movement input by using a number notation. To understand what the numbers mean, you just have to look at the numpad on your computer's keyboard. What? You're watching this on mobile? Alright, I'll just google a numpad and show it on screen then. The notations assume your character is on the left side of the screen, facing right. So number 6 will be forward, number 4 will be backward, 2 is crouching, 8 is jumping up, and 5 is just standing there without pressing any button. The rest of the buttons are just diagonal inputs. With this, we can just say 236 instead of quarter circle, and 41236 for half circle, and 6 to 3 for a dragon punch input. This is way easier to type and read once you understand how to read them. Also, this notation can write down any kind of movements no matter how weird their movements are. I'm looking at you, go Lois. Okay, so we're done explaining about the numbers. Next question is, what about the letters? Well, this is where the explanation can get confusing because fighting games have varying input methods depending on the series. Street Fighter series have 6 button inputs, 3 for punches and 3 for kicks. There are light punch and medium punch and hard punch or jab strong fists respectively. For kicks, there are light kick, medium kick and hard kick or short forward roundhouse respectively. I have no idea why Street Fighters have two ways to get their punches and kicks, don't ask me that. Anime fighting games like Blaze Blue series have four input buttons, A, B, C, and D, with A being the weakest but fastest attack, B is balance between power and speed, C is the strongest attack but also the slowest, while D is a special attack that differs between each character. So the notation 236A means you're doing fireball input with a weak version of the attack while 236C means you're doing dragon punch with the strongest version of the attack. Guilty Gear series is different than other anime fighters because it doesn't use A, B, C, D for attack inputs. Instead, it uses punch, kick, slash, and heavy slash or PKSHS for short. Axis, please be consistent with your fighting games. A team based game like Blitz Blue Cross Tag Battle doesn't have a D. <laughs> it doesn't have a D attack button. It is replaced with a partner button or P that will attack your currently active character with your partner. Yeah, different fighting games have different input methods. This is what I mean when I say notations are standard. It also differs depending on the fighting game's features. Okay, we've covered the basics. Now let me explain about more symbols that can be written into the notation. If a number or letter is enclosed in brackets, 
It means you have to hold that button down, usually for 2 seconds before releasing it and continue to the next button in the notation. This is usually used for charged characters. So open bracket 4 close bracket 6p means that you have to hold back for 2 seconds before pressing forward and p. Where combo requires you to jump cancel after a move, the notation will add to c. If it is a super jump cancel, then ace to c will be written. If you don't understand cancels, I won't explain it now, that's for another video. While you are in the air, you can still continue your combo. In this situation, the notation will write J in the attack button notation. Examples of this are JP, J2K, or J236S. Some special moves will only use something as simple as one direction and an attack button. This is called command normals. The notation for command normals, for example, is 6P. There are moves that are an exception to the rule, and I mean, these moves can be written without using the numpad notation, but instead we refer to the move's name. Why? Because the notation is actually longer than the move's name. For example, we can just say for tempting buster instead of 632146P. In some games like Guilty Gear series, your character can have different attack animations depending whether you're close or far to the opponent. When you specifically need to do the close version of the attack, the notation will add C before the attack. What, do you think we only have offensive moves in fighting games? Fighting games also have defensive options in them, though you usually don't write them in combos because why are you doing defensive stuff while you're attacking? You should keep on attacking! But because we use these abbreviations in the community, I think well, why don't I include them as well? It still helps beginners. Just remember that not all fighting games have the same defensive features. This example uses Kelsey Gear and Blaze Blue as examples. Other games may not have the same or similar features. FD is a short for Faultless Defense. It's the kind of block that doesn't let your health reduce, not even by chip damage. No, I will not explain chip damage, that will be for another video. IP is Instant Block. It's when you press back to block at the same frame as your opponent's attack hits you. Okay, I think I've covered everything that needs to be covered. Oh wait, I haven't said anything about cancel and link. What should I do? Oh well, that will be for another video I guess. For closing, I will show you how the combo notation at the beginning of the video look like. If you find this video useful, please leave a like and smash the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.